We've got your back tonight. We're working to get more information and answers about that E. coli exposure at Hartford Hospital. We first told you about this last night at 5 as it was breaking. More than 280 patients were exposed to E. coli. It's been linked to one type of instrument. It's a type of endoscope. Yeah, so today we wanted to answer your questions, maybe calm some concerns in the wake of this news. And another recent report that showed 14 hospitals were being fined for high infection rates, too. Our medical reporter, Jocelyn Mementa, is live in News 8 Control tonight with more. Jocelyn? Darren, as we've reported, Hartford Healthcare is no longer using the particular scope in question that was used for very sick patients, people with infections or cancer threaded through the mouth to examine the colon. Now, this is not a routine endoscopy. I spoke on the phone with Dr. Louise Demery, professor of infectious diseases and of epidemiology at Yale School of Medicine, who was waiting at the airport to board a delayed flight about a number of things you may be concerned about. Doctors at Hartford Hospital use the same duodenoscope pictured here that UCLA Medical Center has linked to two patients dying from a superbug. The contamination at Hartford Hospital, though, was to a form of E. coli, despite a proactive process of limiting hospital-acquired illnesses. It's a complex tool, Dr. Louise Demery at Yale School of Medicine says is challenging to clean. And they have to be well cleaned before we do the high-level disinfection process. So. This is probably um, something around not so much their process as in the design of the scope and the difficulty in cleaning it. What led Hartford Hospital to contact 281 patients at risk for an E. coli infection was a routine check, commonly referred to as active surveillance. Active surveillance just means that we're always actively looking for things like clusters and infection. So it is part of an infection prevention program, so, and particularly around antibiotic resistant organisms. This particular one is treatable with antibiotics. When transmission has occurred, it usually means at that point that the person has been exposed to the organism and has acquired it, and then they're just carrying it. It doesn't mean that they're infected. So infection is certainly what we're most concerned about, but I don't think most people have to be concerned. And just having been exposed to the organism doesn't necessarily mean even that you would have acquired it. Dr. Demery advises that concerned patients talk to their physician, but keep in mind several things, that there are still good reasons to get these procedures done, and despite clusters of infection reported, it is still pretty uncommon.